Lord, we come before you this morning recognizing that the enemy is constantly speaking lies into us. He is a liar from the get-go. And he's always speaking lies into us. And one of the lies, Lord, is that you are not good. And we reject that in the name of Jesus Christ. And we receive the truth that you are a good, good father. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord, that you are a good, good father. That's who you are. That is your nature. You are a loving, good father. You turn everything and work work it for our good. Lord, you discipline us in our love. It even says that our fathers who are evil have disciplined us for a time, but you discipline us out of love. So even the discipline you do, Lord, you, do, you don't do out of anger, you do it out of love. Lord, how you delight in your children, on your, in your sons and daughters whom you've adopted. Lord, you are willing to shed your son's blood. You're willing to see your son go to the cross so that we may be reunited with you. Lord, how good you are. And so we receive that love this morning. We are loved ones. That's who we are. We are your beloved. That's our identity. And we receive that in the name of Jesus. We reject the lies that that the love that we show you somehow earns your love. That there's actually anything that we can do to diminish your love. You are a loving father. And we are your beloved, adopted children. And so, Lord, this morning we receive anew that identity. We receive anew your love. And we, and we respond to you, Lord, in childlike love. Even though many of us are adults, Lord, we are your children, your little sons and daughters who just say, Daddy, I love you. We just love you this morning. We just speak words of adoration. Sometimes we don't even have words, Lord, but we speak what we know how to say and we express the love that's in our hearts. And Lord, I pray this morning for those who are wounded in their hearts, wounded by fathers who did not express the love of the Father in heaven, who somehow hurt and abused and abandoned and let go us in our tender years. Lord, we take the moment this now, this moment to forgive our earthly fathers. We forgive them. We choose to forgive them. They did their best. This morning, Lord, we receive the healing that the heavenly father that you, Lord, have for us. For you have always been our father and you always will be our Father. And so we receive that healing. You will never abandon us. You will never abuse us. You are not self-centered or self-serving. You look after us, watch over us, keep us close. And so we receive that love. Whatever age we are, Lord, we receive that Father's love anew this morning. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I believe the Lord's also asking uh, some of us, um, our parents here, And some of us have not been good parents, good fathers, good mothers. We've done our best, but the Lord wants to forgive us as well. So would you come before the Lord, if you are a parent, and just say, I'm sorry for the things that I've done or not done, and lay that at his feet as well. The Lord looks down on us in delight. He says, as far as the east is from the west, I have removed that sin from you. What was ugly and scarlet and stained, I have now made as clean and fresh 
as a beautiful fallen snow 